In this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of a particular object in a Photoshop file. Okay, now this particular file we already have the elephant uh, selected out as its own layer which we can see here if I'm in the layer tab I can turn him on and off visually. Okay so he's he's isolated the, the work we're going to do if we have just that layer selected is not going to affect the background. All right. So there's our elephant, and what we basically want to do is go up to Image, Adjustments, and Hue and Saturation. All right. Now, Hue is the actual actual color coding, and we can see if we pull that you know left or right we get these uh, colorful tinges all over the elephant but it's not really um, uh, you know it's not very even is it right it's just more like highlights than uh, than, than the effect that we want right you know if we we can pull our saturation way up and get sort of a posterized look but that's not what we're after. I, I, what I'm looking for right now is something along the lines of a pink elephant. All right. So let's cancel out of there and start with actually grabbing a, uh, a nice color of pink here. Now, let's see. This one here looks fine. We'll click OK. Now that is our foreground color is the base color that we want to apply to the elephant. All right, so we're going to go back in there. Image, adjustments, hue and saturation. But this time we're going to click on colorize. Okay? And what that does is grabs that foreground color and tries to apply it to the entire selection that you have. In this case the selection is the layer, but you may actually have uh, you know selected an object using uh, any one of the selection tools, uh, right? But um, you can already see that the elephant indeed does have uh, a slight pink cast there, and we can click and unclick preview here to see the alteration, right? But it's not nearly as pink as you know we would like in terms of trying to get it uh, to really stand out. So here's where we could pull up our saturation a bit, but then we're getting more into uh, a red there. Let's try you can do lightness a bit. If you go too far, of course, and you wash them right out, right? But we can pull that up just a bit there. And a little bit of adjustment here. Okay, that's about as good as we're going to get. We got hue at seven there. Uh, if we move it around, we're getting off our color. So let's keep that there. We've got him as pink as that tool is going to get us. And now go into image adjustments curves, and we can pull this curve up. All right, it's a bit more pink. Click OK. And then, but he does lose some of his definition there. So let's go into filter, sharpen, go to our unsharp mask. Okay, and uh, this is a pretty high resolution photo here. So let's pull the radius up. Oh, that's too far. Let's see if we. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in this video but if I check and uncheck preview you'll see how we get the nice fine lines back by applying the unsharp mask. In this case it looks like somewhere around 7 is going to give us the best results. Okay, So there we go we have colorized with image adjustments, hue and saturation. All right and after that we've gone into filter sharpen unsharp mask and we have our pink elephant 
And if we want to go to history here, we can see between the original and what we've ended up with. And that's one way, anyway, to change the color of an object in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.